Hey guys, what is up? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video. One challenge that designers are faced with often is coming up with ideas for their portfolio projects. I talk about the portfolio often. The portfolio is your golden ticket into getting seen within the marketplace, landing new jobs, etc. So I always talk about designers should be continuously improving their portfolio by adding personal projects to their portfolio. That's concept work. But one of the uh, questions I get often is, hey Mike, you know, how do I come up with ideas for personal projects? One great idea is to not come up with a new idea at all, but to take your old projects, freshen those up, and bring those into current times, 2019, 2020. So go into your archive, look at old designs that you've already spent weeks and hours, you know, building, adding content to those projects, take those that are already existing and bring those into current times. <clears throat> I tweeted this out yesterday and got a huge response. A lot of designers were liking this and rightly so because this, this issue, we're faced with this often, right? Like how do we come up with new ideas for um, you know, personal projects. It takes a lot of brain power thinking of new ideas. But when I look back at some of my old work, I spend weeks, I mean, especially the ones I go back 10 years deep, I spend weeks and months building those projects or, or at least working with clients, you know, coming up with the content and all that stuff. So it's like, why not leverage the equity that you've already built take those projects and just bring those into 2019, 2020 designs. Because one of the things that designers face is um, we we have our go-to moves, right? In terms of our design styles. And I can go on and on and on about this, but every designer has their own go-to style. And sometimes your style isn't, I guess, adequate with, with up-to-date standards. And I have to go through this often because I have my own go-to moves in terms of my own little nuances, just the way I, I design my sites, I look, we always have to um, stay current with the current times, right? That's just, that's just a, a fact. <clears throat> and one thing that I have to do, and I actually posted a video a while back called Scrap Your Portfolio. Sometimes designers, we have to scrap our portfolio and I'm actually going through a transition now over the next six months, I'm gonna just start re rejuvenating my portfolio. My portfolio is like five years out of date. And I, I want to look at my old work and just bring those into current times. And so um, I'll be doing that as well. And I just want to share that advice to any designer that's out there that you should be doing the same. You know, look at your old projects, bring those back in and make and redesign them and freshen those up. And that would put you, I mean, it would save you a lot of time where you don't have to use your brain power into coming up with new ideas. And um <clears throat> get your portfolio up to date and current. Let me just show you a couple of examples. But one of the things that if you can see here, if you just do a quick search on either Dribble or Pinterest, you'll notice a lot of the trends today are pretty, um, you know, there's some, there's some consistent trends that you see across the board. And what I notice is that you see a lot of white space, you see a lot of vibrant colors, you see a lot of cartoony people, like illustrations and things like that. Um, and so you see a lot of like, in, in examples like this, you see a lot of soft drop shadows, a lot of rounded corners. So these are trends that, you've, that, I've, that I've noticed over the last couple of years and that will carry over into 2020. And so when I look at some of my old designs, this particular design I did when I worked for cars.com back in 2008, or no, 2007, and it has a lot of content. But as you can see, the site is 11 years old. And, but I can, I can go back into my archive and put out all this content and do some research into current design standards and redesign this particular site. Here's another site that I did um, back in 2012. It's about, you know, it's about six years old now. And it's a dashboard for a real estate um, application. And um, I have several, several um, sites or several pages, about eight pages. But as you can see, this particular dashboard is an old school, you know, this particular type of design 
though it's clean and it's organized, it's well organized, the visual design language on this particular design is outdated. And so if I'm, you know, wanting to stay current in the marketplace, if a company sees this, that they'll say, that's great, but that looks like it's been done like eight years ago, you know? And so what I have to do is I did a search just now for just an example. I did a search for dashboards, you know, visual UI designs. And as you can see, similar trends, right? Lots of white space, lots of vibrant colors, lots of gradients. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just lots of rounded corners, lots of soft drop shadows, if you will. And basically, that's what I have to do in order to bring those type of dashboards back into something that's that I would consider 2019, 2020 is, um, you know, look at the current landscape and freshen up your old stuff. So as you can see, I spent hours and weeks and months building out this particular design, coming up with the content. And so by taking your old stuff and just freshening those up into new designs, it'll save you so much time and, um, let me get back in focus here. <clears throat> it'll save you so much time. There it is. Um, you know, rather you don't have to spend hours and hours and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and months and months and months trying to come up with this content. So take your old stuff. Go in that archive. We all have designs and things that we're embarrassed about and um, that we don't want to show. I have dozens, dozens of sites that I can pull that I built back in like, heck, in 2006. You know, um, just, just lots of content, lots of websites that I built for small clients and you just pull those, bring those up, you know, don't even, you don't have to recreate the will. Just bring those up, freshen those up and uh, bring those into current times <coughs> and you'll be straight. Anyway, uh, hopefully this was helpful. If you are a seasoned visual UI designer, you can take this information and run with it. If you are new and you still are growing your visual UI design skills and you wanna learn more tactics, hands-on tactics on how to improve your visual design eye, visual design skills into some of these things that you see on Dribbble, I recommend going to my site, MLUX Academy, and subscribing to my membership. Try it out free for 14 days. I have tactics and videos just like this, exactly like this, that helps you improve your visual design skills and help you um, build out your portfolio and give you tons of more ideas like this um, that can help you out. I recommend you trying it out for 14 days. You can cancel any time. Check it out. I highly recommend it. It'll um, it'll be highly valued for you. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, always shoot me a comment and link. If you like this, this tip, leave me a thumbs up and I hope to catch you guys in the next video. Peace.